chances are very pretty high that an MK character will be in multiverses. Well, it is a Warner Brothers game with like Warner Brothers characters and Mortal Kombat is a Warner Brothers franchise, so I would not be surprised. I would definitely not be surprised if a Mortal Kombat character showed up in multiverses in some way. WB and Disney would never work together on a game. Yes, don't worry about all the several Lego uh, Marvel games made by WB. Don't worry about that. Just ignore those. Sheesh. I have seen some people playing this game on PC, and I'm just like, fucking woof. All the crazy stuttering and shit like that, and I'm, I'm super, super lucky to be in the, uh... In the, uh, maybe a mi minority? I don't know. To be in a relative minority of folks that the PC version is not perfect by any means. And I only get some frame drops every once in a while. Like down to like, you know, maybe 30-ish to 45-ish and then it fixes itself. Um, then not much else happens. Weird. I even in a similar situation where uh, I was watching with the exact same setup, right? Uh, a 3090 and a 10900K Digital Foundry tested this game and was running into the exact same problems like crazy stuttering way more than I, I see on my end. So I don't know. Um, the only thing... Maybe the only thing that's different on my end, and I keep saying this, is that I play on Borderless Windowed. So I don't... And not much of my 3090 is being taxed, right? Like it's not. I, 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 I've looked at graphs of the 3090 when running around like big environments like like w with the w with the fire and shit like that, like the dragon. It's not much going on. Not really being used that much. Most, I'd say like the relative 98% of my gameplay experience has been 60 FPS the whole time. You've read RAM speed? Yeah, I have I have DDR4 RAM. I do not have DDR5 RAM. Yeah, don't get don't get me wrong. Uh, I would not trust FromSoft games for their technical mastercraft. It's like literally what they're bad at. Um, but I mean, you guys have seen my PC experience. Every, it's like a handful of times is there crazy frame drops or actually stuttering. Um, it's been not much of an issue. I think it's just really specific configuration, right? Uh, status, do I have runes on me? I do. Okay. But that's the thing with PC versions, right? Why do you think PC versions of games are so hard to make, chat? Because you literally have to account for an almost infinite amount of variables. You have to account for so many different radions mixed with Intel chips, mixed with this, mixed with that, mixed with this speed hard drive, mixed with that speed hard drive, mixed with DDR2 RAM. You know, you have to account for all this kind of crazy shit uh, to allow that to happen. And that's why you just don't have PC versions for everything, because it's a lot of work. Oh, fuck yeah. Is he here? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm hungry again. So glad my appetite's back. Yeah, I was 17. Tell him yes, please. Thank you. Do you want some? You sure. Kenny's getting tacos, chat. Sorry. Oh, fuck yeah. Six. Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, yeah. So says just chatting, thank you. Jesus, the mouse, oh my god. Elden Ring! Do the thing. Oh god. Elden Ring. Kenny might, Kenny might make a brief cameo. Thank you, sweetie. Six. Um. TDR2? 20 year old memory? Hell yeah, let's go. Make it happen. But isn't that like a weird, uh. 
and I don't know, I, I, I'm actually not, like, a, a fucking computer scientist when it comes to this shit, but, like, the API in DXF, DX12 changes, right? Doesn't DX12 sort of take the API element out of it? I'm not super versed in it, but the way DX12 works is, like, it, it, it tries to alleviate a bit of, like, the PC port, um, woes that come as a result of it, right? It tries to make making... Doesn't DX12 attempt to make it easier to, like, run the game on a variety of different hardware? Am I thinking of that wrong? Oh, DX12 basically puts more onto the dev to allocate resources manually. Okay, so it's the opposite. It's, it's literally the opposite, where DX12 leaves it up to more developer control. Gotcha, which is why most DXF, DX12 games that have come out are fucked up. Mostly, like, you have to manually adjust it back down to DX11 to make the API be more functional because it was like it was before. Because the devs probably didn't account for a ton of shit. I like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> I like your funny words, Magic Man. I got the hug debuff. Hold on a second. Fucking... Vest Moper, thank you. I'll get rid of it. Thank you, Vass. Appreciate it. For the five gift subs. Which combat do you have more fun in? Neo or Souls? Uh, Neo, 100%. 100%. Yeah. For anybody that tries to tell you that any Souls game, including the one of the greatest games of all time, Bloodborne, um, has better combat than Neo 1 or 2, uh, they are drunk and high. Uh, unfortunately, one of the most captivating elements of Souls games is the level design and how fucking uh, incredible the world is in Souls games, right? And Neo lacks that hilariously bad. Uh, it, it hilariously lacks that. It is such a huge problem. Like, the levels in Neo and Neo 2 are not super engaging or interesting. They're kind of all right. Um, but the combat's great. Combat's super cool. The thing that carries FromSoft games is not their combat. It's it's the variety. It's the gameplay variety that you can approach the game in like a billion different ways. And it's the fact that their world is amazing. Their level design is quite literally the best in the industry. Nobody does it better. People have tried to do it better and nobody can do it as good as them. It's like they're magic or some shit. There's been a ton of different souls light -like games in a billion different ways, and no one has been able to emulate anything... Oh, there's another one of those guys. ...of the feeling of going through a, a castle in a Souls game, man. Like, nothing beats it. Sekiro is kind of sick. Well, that's a Souls game. I mean, as much as you don't want to call Sekiro a Souls game, it's a Souls game, man. What is... Huh? Somebody's shooting at me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! This guy's being a huge bitch. That's way down there. I'm engaged in combat, so I can't look at my map. Uh, Bone Land. Hello. Goodbye. Ow! Stab my horse in the ass! The guys have not terrible souls. Yo, Truegram, thanks for the tier three, dude. Holy crap. Mountain combat sucks. It could be worse. It could be way worse. 
Have you tried shooting bow and arrow from, from mounted combat? It's kind of sick. Oh god. <laughs> I have a shield. Oh god. Hold on, I can't. It's kind of sick. So sick. Oh shit. Back. Maybe not as sick as I thought. Imagine, imagine if you actually get a good bow, right? The fact that this is functional is cool. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Ow, a double... Oh, shit. Hold on a second. I wanted to try that. I've not actually done this yet. Okay. A barrage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm just going to use all my resources here. Damn. Billion arrows in that guy's face. You guess Miyazaki put all his soul into this game? Uh, literally, yes. The, the soul of all the other Souls games is in here because of all the you know, old animations and stuff. Yes. All the old assets and animations have come together to create the greatest Souls game ever. The greatest Dark Souls game of all time. There's a lot, and there's a lot of funny shit, because George literally said what he did on the game. He didn't write the plot. He didn't. Uh, and we don't even know what the hell the plot is. Like, following the story, once again, is there's a lot more story present in this game than there was in any other Souls games. There's a lot more talking about shit. Um, George stepped in for world building stuff. Like, specifically world building. So he didn't write directly the sequence of events that the player would traverse and learn of. No, he, he built upon, like, lore shit. And that's kind of what this game has done pretty well, right? This game pretty has pretty fantastic, like, world building between, like, uh, this race of creatures and this, these creatures don't like going over here or something like that because of this relationship that happened back there. Like, the, that's literally world building type stuff. Um, somebody told me, or I saw on Twitter, that the actual story of the game is that the Elden Ring is not, like, an actual physical ring or some shit. The Elden Ring is essentially a decree of, like, rules of life that are sort of held together by, by demigods. And the ring itself, the rule was shattered um, when the, the rule that constitutes what death is, that you can't die, like, what, what equivalates death and an afterlife and all that kind of stuff, right? So... The Elden Ring was shattered where death was broken. And the first demigod was killed that, that is essentially destined to have people die or something like that. That's the story. So now there's an in-between. There's like a land in-between and there's tarnished people who aren't people who live in death. And that's technically the story. I'm like, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that like these demigods hold together what is essentially reality. And that one of them was broken. The rule of death was broken. I'm like, eat. That's actually an I haven't gotten that at all, unfortunately, from my 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 lore discovery. It's all over the place now that I think about it. But I'm like, neat. I kinda like that. It's kinda neat. Once again, but I'm not really big into like it does definitely feel very Lord of the Ringsy, you know. And while Lord of the Rings is cool, I can never really get into its lore. So uh, I see another map right here, and I think we should go there because I feel like we're going up and Lucaria or whatever the heck it is, Lucario. There's some Pokemon I gotta find. I'm going to go back here.
Because the lands in between basically purgatory. I mean, I guess you, that's a that's a conclusion you could certainly pull. Seems interesting, right? Uh oh, there's a battle. It's a battle between ghost men and uh, several more ghost men. Damn, that's a lot of ghost men. Well, they're not really providing a ton of resources. You guys go. A hundred? Ow. Holy shit, ghost giant. You come over here and beat these guys up. Oh god, there's only like two left. He summoned summoning swords. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not this is new to me. Did he kill his friend? That's good. This guy's got a cape on. He's majestic. Uh oh. Run. Time to run. Tactical runaway. Ow. Will you hit this guy? Uh oh. Uh oh. Those are aimed at me. Damn, that bitch is dead. I hit it. Hey, these guys are actually fighting it. Nice. Go do your jobs. Ooh. Working together. Don't mind me. It's getting in a good help healthy couple of wax. Uh-oh. Hey man, you're gonna get fucking You deserve this. Quality whips. Godric soldiers, come forth! Beat him up! Beat him up! Oh! Ho, ho. He's wearing a, uh, a helm. Gents. So I gotta relearn the buttons. Okay, they pieced out. Well, that was new. Uh, Alucian? This is a faith weapon? Sounds faith like. No, it's a strength dex. It's just a pole arm. Basic bitch shit. Dude, what is this? Oh, these are the, uh... The big ol'... These are the big ol' tank things that we actually fight later. Alright, I think I know where we're at. I was- I was going somewhere? I was looking for a map. Follow the road. Uh-oh. Getting dank. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Disengage horse. This guy got some, uh, health on him. Ah, school. I 
I'm hitting his horse. Oh. Okay, he's 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 killable. Shit. Oh. Killable. But not easy. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um Yeah, the horse is kind of a pain in the butt there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do. Number one. Okay. Number two. We're gonna bring out the boys. Against that guy. Oh, I forget about the, the horseback trick. When you're on horseback, go to two-handed, and then call the horse, and your damage will be significantly increased, even if you're one-handed. Hey man, can you come down this way? Ow. Can you come down this way? Ow! Oh shit, it needs to be nighttime. Let me go get my echoes. Wait, really? Yes. Was this Rare Lucaria? Yeah, hollowed hall dedicated to the study of magic. Why shut your doors at me? Am I barred from donating to the crown of stone? What? Seems weird. Uh, let's find something to whack chat. Hang on a second. So, let's get a two-handed whack. No charge, right? Just normal, normal ass whack. Shit. Oh shit! Shit. Regular whack. Donning, not donating? He was donating. I read quickly and inaccurately, okay? Okay, let's give this guy a good whack. And... 254? Oh Christ. Oh Jesus. Stop trying to kill me, man. I'm doing science. 254? 203. Yeah. You want to... When you're on... Before you get on horseback, you want to two-hand the weapon. Has to be a bug, maybe. Or it's an intentional bug. Okay. Um... I'm nowhere close. Let's pass time. Go to nighttime. Go get messed up. Swift, thanks for the 66 months. Can you get a quick map reveal? Yes. Up in the... Uh... Hunter's Moon, thanks for the tier one. We want sub mode for this playthrough. We only put it into sub mode if the chat pisses me off. Like, if there's a door and I'm exploring and they tell me to go into the door because the chat knows that exploring is fruitless, but I don't, and they're like, go into the door, damn, that's, that's an easy-ass sub mode for at least a few hours. That is the easiest fucking sub mode of my life. Zero remorse. Better pay to talk, bitch. I'm distracted again. No, no, we don't need sub mode yet. No, no, no. A little, little preemptive there, mods. I'm literally telling a story. Wow! Jesus, I didn't even see it. Yeah, so that was just a testing... A testing of the sub mode that I understand. Just to make sure it still works. Gotta make sure, right? That they can't get through. There can't be any any seams. Wow, 
Why is there a bear? Can you smack the bear for me? Bear, you're not making this any easier. In fact, you're making it significantly harder. Fuck. Fuck. Or space combat. Why come bear no hit dude? You're gonna get bored, right, bear? You're gonna get bored, right? You're gonna get bored, right? And how hangry does this guy get? Oh, he gets pretty fucking hangry. Dude, we are like impending their fight. Oh, no! Oh, dear. Oh, no. Please don't respawn with full health. Please don't depop completely. Are you gone now? No, you're not. Hey, he still got his life gone. Okay. Ow. It's a big-ass lance, dude. <gasps> the fucking bear! Take that. Ow. Oh, God. I need to feed my horse some, horse some berries. Oh, his horse is about to be dead. Fact. Let's square off with this bitch. High quality whiffs. Oh shit, where's your horse now, man? Hit him! Thank you. I don't know if I like this weapon art too much. The ice spear. That's a three down? Something like that, three down? I think that is a faith scaling ability. Yeah. Damn, Yoshizi. Thanks for the 5,000 bits. Holy crap, going immediately to a C. Thank you. Master no way, that's where my map marker is. Oh my god! That looks way further out than I thought. Yo, thank you, Yoshis. That's super nice of you. This guy give me enough for a level? Ah! Um, let's do something about that. I like the uh, the old one better. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's a two thousand one. Okay. Hello. I love how this actually feels like a world, you know. So, in my opinion, I feel like the impact on the industry. Uh that Elden Ring is going to have is going to be comparable, if not bigger, than that of which Breath of the Wild had when it came out five years ago. I think this game is um, a significant jump in how open world games will be approached from this point forward. Or Skyrim. Yeah, or Skyrim. Yeah, it was essentially Skyrim, Breath of the Wild, and then like this. It's a, it's a, this is a, this game is a fucking triumph in 
and like game design and world building and adventure. I have never felt a game that I adventure more in ever in my life. Like, I, f I feel like if in your in your head, you have this like idea of like going on an adventure when you played the first Zelda game on Nintendo or you played like Link to the Past or something like that, or even Ocarina of Time. And you're like, damn, that's a uh, those games like in your head, you've built up this whole narrative, right? This game is what those actually are, <laughs> right? Like this game is actually what that is. And it's done in ridiculously better ways in some way. Like it's crazy. Imagine if the whole game was open world, but it never felt like an open world game. It almost seems impossible. It's like that's so much work. That's it. That's a crazy amount of work. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it helps if you make Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, Bloodborne before this one and then take little bits of all of those games like little bits of all of them put them in here holy shit god Dude, frickin' Brian put in 200 bucks. Elden Ring is easy game of the year win. It'd be criminal if it does win. Oh no, dude. Oh, dude. You know, this game is in is absolute. This game will be talked about for years, right? It is this game isn't game of the year. This is gonna win best racing game over Gran Turismo. This is gonna win best fighting game. It'll win best RPG. It'll win best sports game. It'll win best party game. It'll win game of the year for every every category in some way. It'll find, it'll find a way. It's going to win every category. And here's the crazy part. Here, here's a, here's a nutty ass realization. If Breath of the Wild 2 comes out this year, and it essentially is just, because it's the same map, right? It's the same thing that you're experiencing from the previous game, with more, obviously. But if Breath of the Wild 2 comes out in a post Elden Ring industry, a post Elden Ring world, will it be held to the same standards that this is? Will the new will the new standards of what a Breath of the Wild game blew everybody away by when it came out? Not me as much. I kind of got bored. Um will that now be comparable? It's like those are heavy shoes to fill. Will Breath of the Wild 2 innovate enough to be better than this? I don't know. Scrutinize the wild? Yeah, 100%. Because I'm with a, a lot of people. I think Breath of the Wild was but a great game. A really captivating and incredibly cool game. For about 48 hours. And then you go up on the mountain and you expect there to be a Lionel. Come across an encampment. You expect there to be the same... Goblins at the encampment or goblins get the get the chest. You come across a a physics puzzle and you physics it. Uh, the game became like really by the numbers, real fucking fast. And I just kind of lost interest. I got to some crazy glowy shrimp palace, and then I was kind of doing the same stuff again and again and again with a different boss fight. I got bored. I just didn't finish the game. Yeah, this game is the perfect example of why using assets is not a reusing assets is not a bad thing. Reusing assets is literally what the entire industry has been based on since like the fucking 80s it's adding a new creative spin on it Let's see if this works what the hell this thing's carrying dickheads why do i want to drop that these are so weird to me that dude's carrying a big fucking club yeah, they give runes usually, but... 
Hey. But all these these assholes dropped. Hey, can I whack you? That's a big club. Holy shit, you did not care. What are you, fish man? Unusually attractive is what you are. These guys are, uh... Extraterrestrials. My Ash of War sucks. This one isn't as good. The buff lasts barely any time. And the Black Flame Blade is also crappy. I gotta switch out this shit. Hey. Assholes. Hold on to this. What? Did I just get shot? Oh, you seem pissed now. Dude. Sitting here like I'm in a shooting gallery. Stop it. You guys are so annoying. My elbow doesn't hurt that bad. So it should be fine that BO2 is reusing some from the first game. Right. No, it is. Um But in 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 a in an Elden Ring situation, this game is dramatically different than Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Dark Souls. It's open world. And it does an open world different than any other open world game ever has. It almost approaches its open world like it's a Souls game. Which is like, what does that even fucking mean? Like, and now we're experiencing it and everybody's experience is crazy. So this is a very different, it's reusing assets in a completely different way, right? Similar combat for sure, but like how you play the game is This is almost the game. I thought the Witcher was gonna be and then the majority of time I played the Witcher It was weird and awkward combat and I was just talking to chicks with huge chests It's mostly what I remember Not the most I remember maybe I'm being selective Fucking lobster! Oh shit, this is a different one. Ow! Sorry, rock lobster! Oh, Jesus Christ! Alright, time to leave. Wrong button. Oh, lobster's busted. Uh oh. Lobster? Uh oh. Try to fake me out. Ow! Fuck. Oh my god, his claw got stuck in the ground. That lobster's crazy. Rock lobster? Motion in the ocean. Ooh, ah. Uh. What is that commotion? Ooh, uh, it was a rock. It was a rock. Lobster. Is he down here? I lost him. Lobster, where's my shit? There it is. Oh, he's relatively docile. I did get DMCA for Rock Lobster. I actually did. I had to, I had to remove that VOD. We fought the huge, like, land lobster in... in, uh, FF15. Dude, get off my nuts! Oh my god! Hit fire sniper, okay. Sun's coming up, dude. Shit! Still hurts. 
the sound design there. Ow. Swing away. Hell yeah. But we eating good tonight. You're playing Final Fantasy 15 and you're fighting the same enemy. <laughs> That's weird. Awkwardly convenient. It's, uh, what is the where does the crazy lobster lore chat? Uh, what? What is the crazy lobster lore that uh, lobsters in like the 1800s or something were served to prisoners because they weren't a delicacy yet? Like they were just these weird ass creatures that they fished up from the bottom of the ocean and they're like, yeah, eat these. They're like, fucking shit. <laughs> this is not bad. Crazy, like, sea bugs are pretty good. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this. Oh, that's bad. Probably wasn't a good idea. I don't think these things are actually, they're like worth 20 bucks each. Getting out of here. Ever eaten lobster? Oh, hell yeah. We'll, uh, every once in a while, Costco will have like a mega sale on lobster tails, and it's like, Ooh. oh my fuck! Uh, screw this. And, uh, me and JJ will buy them. JJ, JJ showed me how to, like, fillet and prepare lobster tails, and we have like a little indoor, um, like, cheese, cheeso grill. We bought on Amazon for like barbecue. Put them on a little indoor grill for butter and garlic and everything and fuck. Fuck. So good. That was not what I was expecting. I just want this. Oh, more lobster meat. We also have uh, a place down in SoCal in Ma Malibu. Um, it is, I can't remember what it's called, but they have ridiculous lobster rolls. Like, fuck. They're not cheap though. It's like 15 bucks for like a lobster roll and fries. There's the lobster. Somebody in this chat will know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's on PCH. And it is like fresh ass seafood cooked up in this one spot. It's not Nobu. No, it's not Nobu. Broad Street Oyster Company. There we go. That's what it is. Broad Street Oyster Company on uh, in Malibu on PCH, Pacific Coast Highway. Holy fuck. Like almost ridiculous tasting shit. Cue ball, thank you. There's my wife. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh shit, oh fuck! Santa? What the fuck? What the hell? Holy shit, this dude's crazy. Okay, I need to stop pursuing and pursue. Being pursued? Get off that thing. Oh my god. No drops? No drops. Jessica. Oh, what does JJ get? Jessica loves, um, uni chat. And they have fresh... And I've tried it, and it's like, this is a bit much for me. <laughs> like, this is a bit intense. Um, they have fresh sea urchin, right? So, and it's like like half of it's cut open and like ready to go so you can get the meat on the inside and it's like super fresh and uh to her they have like the best uni she's ever had like the most ridiculously fresh and she'll just go there with like some of her friends that love a similar stuff and they'll just get a whole bunch of like uni and oysters and 
go to town. Apparently, it's incredibly... It's got... And I tried it. I was like, you know what? This doesn't look like something I would normally eat, but I'd like to try it. And I tried it, and I'm like... It's interesting, but the texture kills it for me. Uh, in the same way that, like, I like oysters, I do. But I'm not, like, give me a dozen oysters kind of a dude. Because I just can't take that being the texture of the food. I'm just like, oh, man, after, like, two... I think they're good, and and there's nothing quite like uni or an oyster when you when you when you literally swallow. I'm trying not to be sexual here, but when you swallow, and the the feeling that comes up from your chest is like this ocean, this super clean, like ocean aroma that like infuses your body. It's super weird. But if you get really good oysters or really good uni, that's what happens. You essentially swallow the food. And then it comes back, you're like, whoa, what? Whoa, I'm at the- I'm at literally at the sea. I feel like I just jumped in the ocean. It's not my thing. Yes, it's definitely- It's definitely out there. Okay, a couple hits, these guys die. But they're terrifying. Are these- do these guys used to be board members at the school? Uni is sea, in, sea urchin, yeah. They do have a very Play-Doh-esque tex uh, uh, Play texture. They do. Dude, I cannot believe the visual- what the hell is this? The visuals in this area. Is this just a lantern? Oh, it is. This place looks amazing. Like, uh, this this game just screams to me just like... Atmosphere. I don't feel like any other Souls game has captured atmosphere as well as this game in like Bloodborne. Maybe in the new Demon Souls, right? Maybe, maybe new Demon Souls. But something about Bloodborne's atmosphere is still top tier. And I still am personally attached to transforming weapons. I still think everything about Bloodborne is just so fucking cool. Like, it was like an objective. Like, at the top of the list, there's like... Beasts and demons and vampires and werewolves and all this weird shit and... Uh, city streets and stone. Right? Uh, gothic. But at the top of the list... It's just, just fucking cool. Everything has to be fucking cool. In Bloodborne in some way. So... Oh shit. Ugh. So even though... This might be a better game than Bloodborne? Maybe. Um... Oh shit. But I think I'm always gonna like Bloodborne more, because I think Bloodborne is just so much more fucking cool. Right? Bloodborne is just so... Cool unapologetically fucking cool. Everything about it. Oh, hell yeah. A tear? No, that's the map. I'm not being chased by lobsters anymore, right? Bloodborne has superior bosses. Yeah, Bloodborne has some great bosses, but I have not... I, I don't even think I've seen a third of the bosses in this game yet. So I can't really say much on that. I wish. Do you think that anyone that's barely ever played a Souls game, Elden, ga Elden Ring is a good starting point? Uh, yes. I do. I do. This one, this game's probably the most accessible of all the Souls games. But that doesn't make it easy, <laughs> you know? It's still tough. And you could you can essentially choose how tough you want to make this game if you really want. Yeah, in this game, you come across a hard-ass boss, you just leave. 
Like almost almost any situation. God damn. Almost any situation. Oh, there's a hard ass boss. Oh, I'm gonna peace out. I'll come back later. That doesn't exist in in like Souls games. <laughs> they're, they're, in Souls games, mo the most of the time there's like a crit path. There's like a path you gotta go, and that boss is in the way. If you don't clear that boss, the game does not continue. There's obviously optional bosses, and most it, I'm not, that's not the same case for everything, but for the majority of the game, you gotta go that way, you know? Holy crap, dude. EJ Leg. Uh, thank you for the hundred bucks. What do you th that's a shit ton of money, by the way. What the fuck are you guys doing? What are your thoughts on BB and Ripley uh, trying to get new foods? You can shoot down this. You can shoot this down, obviously. Tries trying new foods? We just give it to her. What did I give her the other day? I can't remember. Um, tacos incoming? Dope. Giving Ripley new foods. We just try it and see what she likes of it and then try it again later if she doesn't like it. I, I think you can't approach things with a stigma. Like, she doesn't like avocados in general. Uh, but, and then we salted the avocado a little bit, like a very little bit. And she was like, oh, this is pretty good. Put it over some toast or something like that, and she actually liked it. High quality whiffs. I will say, there is some hitbox uh, porn in... What the fuck? Oh, Jesus, dude, it's a player. I'm like, does this guy have my horse? He wasn't moving like he was an NPC, I'm like... This bitch is on my horse. <laughs> it was a dude. <laughs> and he just peaced out. See you later. Hey, how's it going? I don't know. <laughs> like, that's the crazy thing. Like, uh, I think I was watching, uh, Wooly. And there, there are so many weird ends of possibility in this game that you don't know if people are lying. And, and Pat described it as like, he said, I came across an abandoned church where a dog wearing a Pope hat told me all about the scholars and how they potentially erupted into flame and violence, penetrating the fiber of the land. And he's like, now you don't know if I'm lying or not. I could be lying my ass off, or I could be telling the truth. The game sets up for so many ridiculous ass possibilities that you don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was in their podcast, I think. And he and he was he was slightly altering the story. It was a turtle. <laughs> like you come across a turtle in a church that gives you all this crazy lore, and he's super cool, and he's wearing a pope hat. <laughs> like perhaps. You know, it could be real. <laughs> and the only, uh, the only change was that it was a turtle and not a dog. <laughs> that, was, that was it. Uh, am I going to get anything out of these ruins or is this just for show? Oh, gentlemen. Oh. Damn, you guys got good hearing for having no fucking ears. Go check out these R2s. Ow. And you get the blood strike thing or whatever the heck it was. This place does look amazing. Oh, there's a big deadly pineapple over here. There's multiple big deadly pineapples. Oh shit. These guys go to the school as well? Holy Christ. Holy Christ. Holy Christ, they're from every- okay. How far does this go for? Really that far? Really that far. I have put in about 30-ish hours so far into this. Oh, 
Uh, about to be attacked. Holy fucking shit, I'm getting out of here. Whoa. Hey guys, how's it going? Let me just take this. Bye-bye. I want to explore this area a little bit. Killa E, thanks for the tier one. Yeah, it feels like I was suddenly transported back to Returnal. Hey! Uh, what? Dude, and there's like a whole bunch of forest and shit? Over here? Yeah, you're always at a different point. I, exactly, Chief. I was I was thinking the same thing where it's it's really hard to watch somebody playing Elden Ring and understand how far they are. Right? It's hard to understand, like, is this a spoiler? I guess I haven't been here. But the because you can approach the game in such like a haphazard way, like you can just avoid the first boss area and just come here if you want. We found the the crazy cliffside uh path you can take that goes around the entire castle avoids the entirety of the castle, the Margit fight, and the Godric fight, and just spits you out. And you're like, whoa, look at this place. We actually did that before we, we killed Godric. And then we killed Godric, and I'm like, what? I'm here? And I just popped right out. Well, holy shit. Yeah, I did that by accident. I, I think a lot of people probably did that by accident. You okay, man? Are you cooking lobster? Holy shit, it's either lobster or crawfish. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off. Before I crack you in half. What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off. Before I crack. Okay. Right, but you're a lobster. What the hell is wrong with you? You're trying to start some piss off. Right, but the but the lobster. That goes anywhere. I wonder if that goes anywhere. This is like woods in marsh. Just ride around, wait for something to happen to us. It always happens. Just ride around, ride, ride around and wait for something to happen. See? Ow. Okay, I screwed up. Damn, these guys got backflips. Holy shit. Binaric blood clot. Yeah. All right. Nice sickle. Very nice. Oh, this guy's big. He got chain mail on. Uh, let's get a waypoint of someplace we can go. There's some more ruins over. <gasps> I, you see that? Do you see it? Do you see what I see? Sword fighter ahead. Uh oh, it's happening, chat. It's happening. The game is doing what it what it always does. Yeah, 
game is doing what it always does. Starts pulling you in one direction. Then continually starts pulling you in a variety of other directions. Don't, don't escape. Oh. Nothing. Maybe at night? Right? You know what I think is also a really good call? Atmospheric, but not aggressive music in the open world. Right? How the music is, uh, there. Sort of illuminates the environment, but does not call attention to it until there's, like, a boss. But it fills in the gap that usually the music of Souls games when you're not fighting a boss, is the sound of your footsteps. But just like this... You know? Very... Very minor. Doesn't really call attention. It just feels, like... Mysterious. And it's different. There's a lot of different notes that they tend to hit. Just, it just adds, it, to me, it actually adds to the atmosphere, then distracts. Is there going to be a big fucking crab in here or something? Like an Omega crab? Like a pillar of the crab community is about to pop out or some shit? There he is. What the shit? Godlike. Yo, what the shit? To anyone wondering if this would be a good first Souls game, it's usually the best game to dive in. Ignore those that say you won't like it. If you don't like Dark Souls, the open world allows you to approach the game in more ways than ever before. Um, yes, I completely agree. I completely agree. Also because you gave me $200, and then 200 bucks earlier as well. Goddamn, Brian. Thanks, man. But I actually do agree. The, the approachability of this game is significantly higher than previous Souls game. Um, and that is because of the... It is, it is not a wide linear game like before. I think I can do this. That sucks. The Atmo has changed. Cheeky ass crab. Somber smithing stone, huh? We'll see those too often. You can angle that spell upwards to go further. Right, that's what I was trying to do. Because if you manually... If you manually huck the fire, it usually falls short. Trying to draw something out over here. Crap. Making a mess. Where are we at? Oh, we're exploring uh, the lands benounced.
Uh oh. This side of the swamp is, uh, hella nasty. More crabs. Jesus. I am in a crazy ass chasm. Oh, and it just got mad dang. Mad dang. Village of the Albinarix. Oh, this place looks bad. Isn't that a stat reset? Right? Isn't that a, uh... You get a... That's like a, you completely reset your stats with that item. I saw that earlier on Twitter. I think I have a few of those now. That's like a respec item, yeah. The village is done for. Please, if it's just you, old Alubis, Albus, hide well and steal your breath. We have gotten distracted again. No, I'm not at 100 FP. I'm very close. Pocket sand. God. Oh my god damn. It's so blinding. Did a lot of damage. Nice. Flambearish bleed kicking in. <laughs> this place is omega spoopy, dude. Pretty great. Ivory Sickle. What? I 
It's a knife. Intelligence and dex based knife. Huh. Please, no. Dear me. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then, you're not one of them? Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Illusory pots? I am Albus and Albinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. Yes! Hunter's Moon, thank you! And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. Don't I have the other one? Deck didn't... No? Join Medallions to operate Grand Lift of Deck Dis. Join Medallions to operate Grand Lift of Roll... Oh, god damn it. So close. They do so such similar things. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena... It is needed to fulfill her back to the stage of history. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorix. Welcome back to the stage of history. Thanks, George, for the for the, the world building. There's some world building provided by... Shit. Some world building provided by George R.R. R. Martin. For some reason, for some weird reason we have to figure out, the Albinarix, um, their legs disappear, which is why all the characters that we've run into are, 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 are crawling across the marsh. They don't have any legs. I don't know why. <laughs> right? I don't know why. But that's some that's some world building shit. It's gonna have a relevance to something. Maybe they are grafted by Godfrey? Yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna cross this, uh... I'm not gonna cross this. Let's try to focus. Try to have a, a moderate amount of focus in the Elden Ring playthrough. Dude, the... the blood flamberge. Oh, this gives me more blood buildup. Oh my god, it gives me even better blood buildup. Oh my god. Wait a minute, can I... I can turn it into a... a blood flamberge? For just a little bit less damage, but for more blood buildup? That's a significant amount of blood buildup, dude. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, blood blood buildup is, is quite literally a uh, blast, right, from Monster Hunter? Fifty-five to seventy-seven. Yeah, strength goes from B to a D. We literally see the effects of it, right? But it is a blood weapon. Strength is going down. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. And blood, yeah, blood damage brings, like, a significant amount of HP. 
Like, it'll always take away, like, a third or a fourth of the enemy's HP. We can always switch it back. Like, literally. For, for literally free. This is amazing, by the way. That we can do this for free. Let me just say. This is amazing. You know, we can just try it. Doesn't cost us anything. I think I, I think I acquired the item that allows us to do that, so whatever, you know? Okay. Cool. We need to go here. Academy Gate Town. Which version is better optimized, PC or console? They both have their issues, but... Um... You can try to get lucky with the PC version and hope you don't have a lot of stutters like me. But I don't know exactly what constitutes... Not as much stuttering. Damn, these guys are splashy. Yeah, PS... If you want a 1080-60 game, PS4 version on PS5 is pretty great. The PC version is super hit or miss. Like I said, you can be like me and get mostly like a 98% 60 FPS experience. And then I've seen some people play the game and the game like literally stops all the, ta all the time. It's not been my experience, but... That should be enough to deter a lot of folks. This dude's all over this thing. Is that an entrance? Try tower and then treasure chest ahead. Uh. Huh. Fuck. Chainmail dudes. Didn't do much to stop that. Oh, hey, how's it going? Doink. Very fancy. Holy shit! Impressive tracking. Come here. Dude, all the all your friends showed up? Oh fuck. Where are you guys going? Gotta be a way to get into this place. Gotta be something. <laughs> Crunchy. Is there just like a front entrance or is everything underwater? Horse time? Definitely horse time. Well, there is a treasure chest. Okay. Always good.
Oh, more shit. Important shit. Please be a tear, please be a tear. Fuck. Okay, we need to start heading this direction. I'm not eating protein bar. Finally at the point where... Can't talk. Busy. Um, stomach's been feeling weird for like a week. Oh, did I just complain about this? Good enough. My stomach's been feeling weird for a week, so it's been hard for me to eat like 3,000 calories a day. Um, and it's finally feeling better. And, uh, food is good again. So, I had some gastro, uh, some GERD fire up, flare up, which was not nice. And, uh, yeah. Been sitting at about 200 pounds for a couple weeks now, and it should be getting at least a pound a week. Anyway. Um, yes, 3,000 is a fuck ton. It is. I am six foot four. If I want to, if I want to gain at least a pound a week with, uh, with, uh, heavy lifting, I need to eat at least 3,000 calories. Ripley's doing fine. Yeah, it was just a one night thing. Yeah, I, my GERD works from, uh, my, my GERD goes away with Prilosec, right? Some weird gastro shit. Stomach just feels like crap. You're not hungry. Um, but I just take some Prilosec OTC, and after like a week of taking it, it goes away. But... I need to eat 3,000 calories a day. And, uh, it's just hard. 3,000 calories, 2,000... I'm sorry, 200 grams of protein. You're 6'4". You, you have to do 4,000? Yeah, I don't want to go crazy. I can't do 4,000. I just can't. I can't eat that much. I can't spend that much of my time a day eating. I just can't. Yeah, and if you ate McDonald's, like, every day, that would be rough. If I eat really calorie-dense foods, I feel f so goddamn full. Like, ridiculously full, man. And I, I don't... I don't... I'm not a crazy eater. So... Yeah, it's been tough. Three shakes can get you to 3,600 calories. Dude, those mass shakes are fucking awful. They're fucking awful, dude. I tried one. I just like, I can't put this in my body. Like, I just can't. Pasta with pesto. How many days in a row are you going to eat pesto pasta? Like, really? Like, that's my problem is that I need, I need food variety. I, I... I degrade, not degrade, what is it? I stale fast on foods. And yeah, pasta is like the easiest way, easiest thing you can do. But I'll go like a few days of being able to eat just like pesto pasta all the time. And I'm like, fuck, I never want to eat pesto pasta ever again. But some people can do that, right? Some people, some people can just cram that shit. Yeah, pasta, pest, pesto pasta with chicken is extremely delicious. It's insanely protein rich, and it is super calorie dense. There's a, there's a, there's a very calorie dense food. Just one plate of like pesto pasta with uh, a ton of chicken in it is probably 1,200 to 1,500 calories and close to like 60, 70 grams of protein or something like that. It's a lot. It's really good too. Makes eating that, makes eating in those days easy, but even I have Jessica make me steak and eggs in the morning. And oh my god, she bought like rib meat from the Asian market, you know, the Korean market that we go to. She bought rib meat, right? And it's the, it makes for the most delicious steak and eggs I have ever had. And it's crazy good, but even after a couple of days of doing that, of eating steak and eggs in the morning, after like day three or four, I can't really, I can't really do it anymore. I gotta go back to like yogurt, or I gotta go back to fruits or something like that. It's all about discipline. I know, I mean, I can do the discipline of lifting, right? But long story short, I can't spend that much time of my day eating. You have no idea how much time when I, when I'm really religious with 3,000 calories a day, 
how much time you just spend fucking eating. Just eating, and 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 I'm like, fuck, man. That's what my mom told me, it's like, she's like, dude, you're eating all the time. I'm like, I know. And I'm still behind, I need to eat more. Fuck. Hardest part is eating. It's exhausting, yeah. It is. It is. The snack on stream. Dude, I do. I literally... I literally have an entire empty jar of cashews that I went through in like two weeks. And guess what? I got another one right here. Like... Fuck. Water on stream, Tiff. You can see the size of this thing? This is my second one today. Sorry. What's my goal weight? Uh, at least maybe 215. It'll take me maybe another year to get there, probably. But. We'll see. Have I tried to do anything keto related? Not really, because I need, uh... I'm trying to gain muscle mass, right? So, uh, keto is not great because it's no carbs. And you need carbs. Like, you really do. Carbohydrates are... I work out as well, yes. I've been working out for a year. Um... Uh, at least three to four... Three to six days a week. And, um... But I need carbohydrates, and the hardest part is actually to get the carbohydrate macros that I need to hit. E and eating a shit ton of carbs. Okay, well I think we gotta go in here. Just the one way to go. Well, you wanna gain weight. But you don't want to do it with super unhealthy food. That's just not going to lead to anything progressive, right? You want to ideally have like a nice variety of foods that you can eat. And make your life not totally suck. But if I was just eating nothing but pesto pasta every day, that's not going to be great, man. Like you need like normal nutrients. All right, guys, I don't mean anything. I'm just gonna walk in here, okay? Yeah, you didn't see anything. Oh, shit. Magic asshole. Ow. That hurts. Holy shit. In stereo. frames. Sorry, sir. The insane guards, everybody. Anyway, yeah, that's been uh, and and really I, I was I was working out for eight months and I didn't put anything on size wise like poundage more than a couple pounds. So I was doing something severely wrong. I was not eating in a calorie surplus, and it wasn't until I started tracking my, um... I started tracking my actual calorie intake per day, and I was realizing that I... Most days, it's all over the place, right? Some days I'll eat like 3,000, 4,000. Some days it'll be like 1,500, maybe 1,000. I won't even be hungry. Um... But until I started tracking it, and really paid attention to how many calories in, how many calories out for every single day, I started to notice huge differences, like, immediately. So, it was a similar workout regimen, too. I was working out harder, but... How did I fix my sleep? Brute force. Brute forced it. Just be really sleepy some days and force your ass to go to bed. Oh, sushi's amazing. Oh my god. 
Chad, I can't even tell you how much I love just eating raw salmon from sushi places. It's like nothing but protein and it's clean as fuck. Makes you feel good. Sushi's like all carbs because uh, isn't rice hella carbs? Isn't it like all carbs and protein? It's amazing. There's like nothing else to it. It's beautiful. It's like exactly what I need. So if I ever have an opportunity to go get sushi, I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. Ow, my ass. Damn, that guy got bled out. Yeah, fish fats are great, man. Get some, like, Scottish salmon or something like that. Super fatty. Very, like, god, buttery fish. Sweet Jesus, dude. This is a blood flambeurs, yeah. I think Kenny's here. Tacos might have arrived. Any thoughts on whey protein? Um, I've been taking it... I've been taking... Uh, I've been doing two scoops for like... A day. For like four months. Before that I only did one scoop a day. It's good. Whey protein's good. It doesn't mess up my stomach that much, but it will make you feel very full. Very full. Fuck! Ow! Don't hurt me. High frames, please. It's supposed to be in place of a meal? Uh, no. No. In my situation, no. Um, if you were trying to lose weight, it could. But... The whey protein I take is, like, only 120 calories for one scoop, so it's not a lot. And it's got, like, 25 grams protein. Long story short, I get a quick, like, 50, 60 grams of protein, but it barely has any calories in it. It's, like, 200 to 300. So that's not a meal, by any means. And, um, I have to be calorie... I need things to be super calorie dense. I need things to, when I eat them, I have to hit, like, 3,000. And I should probably be hitting more. I should... Most likely, if I wanted to be really stringent, should be doing 3350. But I just don't know if I can eat that much fucking food, man. If I mix it with milk and water, just water. I don't drink milk. Yo, Griff Nuts, damn, tier 3, 98 months? Sweet Jesus. Am I doing weightlifting? Yes. I've been weightlifting for a year. Really, man? Nothing? Tacos have arrived? Oh god, let's take out this last guy. He looks like a big boy. Shit, don't do it, man. Whoa! Nice swing. Very impressive. What? I don't like the iframes enemies have on Wake Up. I don't like it. Get rid of it. Okay. You got a friend who dirty bulks, eats five burgers and then lifts? See, I'll do burgers every once in a while. I'll go to like In-N-Out like three to four times a month, but you can do that. But you don't feel good. I want to feel good, damn it. 
Like, I want to... I don't want to get super fat. I want to, like, gain size, but I don't want to, like, have the size gain me. Hell? Could have been a dude, right? Could have been a dude. Let us wrap the burgers. I did that. I like that way more. I'm not going to lie, man. Um, I enjoy burgers with lettuce wraps like a lot. I hear sparkly shit and I'm pissed off. I don't see sparkly shit. Yo. Oh my god, am I going to eat in front of the chat? I think I am. Eat directly in front of the chat. Oh god, thank you. There you go. I'm going to make them spicy for the chat too. I'm sorry. It was so fucking spicy. Ugh. Hold on. Ooh. Very good. Oh, very good. Oh, different? You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. Mikela's favor can be yours. <sighs> slaughter. 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 <sighs> the all hearing slaughtered. But alas, it was for naught. But all you need do is snatch it from the big. <laughs> Pretty the poor, poor fool. <laughs> you, your. That all made perfect sense. Did you die? Whoa. <gasps> Don't tell your friends about me. Okay. <laughs> Let's not get aggroed by that. Fuck. Will you stop it? Oh, ow.
War garble. Nothing. Raise the gorgeous view. Yeah, it's all right. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, I'm glad this guy was blind. Best item in the game. Maybe. <clears throat> 63 damage negation? What the... 63 damage negation? What the shit? It's a baby shield. Uh oh, y'all gonna get it now. Stabbing me. I was say, wasn't there one more guy? Damn. That blood build up, though. Going somewhere. Hidden path ahead. Liar ahead. Hey, they weren't lying. Oh, we're back at the front. Well, shit. <clears throat> Yo, Radin Hazik. Thank you, dude. And Delta Scope and Hella Spam. Scruffy. Appreciate it, guys. Far from luck. Thanks for the five, dude. I've had bad reflux stuff since you were 15. You're 30 now. Get Nexium prescribed. Help me significantly. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, Prilosec works for me. Prilosec OTC. Uh, it, it works. I just have to get used. I just have to, like, revisit it every once in a while. Hunter's Moon, thanks for the 25. I became a uh, quadriplegic from a driving accident, uh, from a diving accident, and your content has helped me through the tough times. You've inspired me to stream as I play games with an Xbox Adaptive, uh, and I love streaming Elden Ring. Keep up the great work, say Groovy. Holy crap, Hunters. Thank you, dude. Cool name as well. Um, that's amazing. Thanks, man. I don't feel like I should be using my horse through this area. But damn, look at this. It's all... It's all, like, grown over. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Meeting place map. A simple map. 
What? Damn, freaking Brian. Thanks for the 20 gift subs, dude. Holy shit. Scared the hell out of me. I'm looking for a simple map. Uh, thank you, dude. Where the hell do simple mats show up at? Eh? Huh? There it is. Simple map found on a corpse. Seems to point to a meeting place. Man, it came from surely desired one, the sole means of gaining entry into the academy. A glintstone key. So it's six markers on an island? This thing? Big... no. God damn it. Uh, ruins. Pretty castle. Pretty castle. I wonder if this is the pretty castle we're talking about. We're gonna have to go get that. Whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> oh, so close. Three golden seeds? Holy shit. Three golden seeds, man. Um, I'm gonna go to here. We're gonna go to there. I think that's it. Yo, what's up, Minolta? Okay, put a marker. It is, uh, very dark out here. Ooh. What the hell? Uh, hi. Blood loss! Oh! Ow! Ow! Why am I fat rolling? What has happened to me? God, you are a crazy asshole. Oh my god, the blood. Oh, that's great. That hurts. Oh, shit. This guy has uh, a lot of stamina. That's a lot of stamina. Ooh, there's a Marika steak here, okay. I'd like my stuff back, please. Yeah, the sword looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good way to start the fight. Oh, a taste of your own medicine, huh? Damn, that wasn't nearly that bad. Is that a regular enemy? Still no item, uh huh, item. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think what we're looking for is here. Let's try killing everything. Oh, fuck! Hoi! Oh. Ow. Works for me. As a lot of tarnished sunflowers, whatever they're good for. Well, this place seems relatively one note. Now that we actually have a, uh, a, a day... Is that the pretty castle? This might be it, or this. It might be, it might be north a bit more. Blood Flame Blade, uh, thanks. Uh, thank you. Nice club. Ow. It's a nice club. Temple quarter. All these creepy weirdos in here. Okay, I'm about to die. Holy shit! Uh, I need some help. Assistance, boys. Motherfucker. Okay. I need to help my boys. Oh, God damn. We all fought so valiantly against these moldy dickheads. Ooh. Yes, please. Well, that's convenient. Jingle, jingle. Let's get them, boys. Holy shit! Holy, holy dumb! What is hitting me? What? I grabbed my souls, right? Thank God. Okay, the magic asshole needs to die. Okay. Don't worry about it. Look out, buddy. Motherfucker. Oh, I'm about 
to die again. Don't do that. Oh my god, damn. Wrong guy. I got one left. What are we fighting? Good high quality whiffs. Okay, where are we going now? What else are we gonna beat up? Ooh. Ooh. Ice rind hatchet? One handed? Oh, god damn. Of course, all the cool weapons are decks, man. Very pretty. <gasps> I like it. <gasps> uh Oh god. Poison. Good work, sir. Cracked crystal. Okay, are we in our spot yet? Uh, no, we're just on our way there. This weapon's kind of neat. I don't hate it. This is the new axe I just found. Side of Grace, nice. got some different ash of war. Hold on a second. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh, enhances the right hand armament with blood flame. No, it wasn't an ash of war. It was an incantation. Oh shit. All right. Good to know.
I can't remember if I two-handed the weapon before I got on the horse. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh. Okay. Elden Ring time. Sorry. I'm <laughs> with the claw. I just see the, the little bit of this. <gasps> She's like, ah! she freaks out. I have a wet horse <clears throat> in a marsh. Looks like I'm about to relive the never-ending story out here. What's the name of the horse again? Not Artax. Um, Torrent! Torrent! <laughs> horse is fucking drowning. Torrent! I need a direction. You got, yeah, we just call Torrent Yakul. It's very true. Jeez, there's a lot of these guys out here. See how tough they are to kill. Nice. <clears throat> they got more health. That's for sure. Damn. When you get those crispy hits in. Oh, that cleared up nicely. Where's my marker? There it is. Play play time out. A bit over 30 hours, probably 31, 32. <clears throat> what in the hell? What? Hey, put that down. They're all over the place. They're all magic based too. How funny. How weird. Holy, holy, holy shit. Dude, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. It just appeared out of the... <laughs> holy shit, Smog? Smudog? Holy shit, holy shit! Okay, alright. Oh! Wow. I really need those souls back. I'd really like those back. Dude, it didn't even look like it was part of the environment. Ow! Like, I, I thought it was ruins or something like that. Not this time, bitch. Oh my god. Let's get this bleed effect on. There it goes. Time to run, time to run, time to run. We act the same, Mr. Dragon, as the other one? We do. But not really. Holy fucking shit! He landed on top of the mountain. The hill. Whatever that is. Um. Wow. Cool. 
Okay. We're gonna have to uh, figure out a way to avoid that shit. Absolutely is magic based, right? Absolutely. We got this. My stuff. Running towards him, running towards him, running towards him. That was a bad idea. Okay. Running towards him, not good. Flamberge is doing God's work, yeah. Taking off that much damage. Um. Fuck. Okay. I think I've always been running to his right. We should definitely try running to the left. <clears throat> Because it covers a huge damn area. I can try jumping over it, maybe? Maybe? Goddamn face! Oh, hell yeah! We can we can tank this. Survived it. <clears throat> Come on! There we go. Another dragon heart. All right. New draconic power is available. Neat. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. We have the experience of fighting all the other dragons and stuff. <gasps> well, it feels like this is where we're supposed to be, right? This place is being protected by a dragon. Or some shit. Maybe, just maybe. Oh. Ok. 
Wait, I see some. That's over there. Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Blowy skull. Have to have to pick. Oh my. Cheeky bitch. I don't like this guy. Gotcha. Uh, Thop's Barrier? Thop? Cool name. So. Uh, it's on the island closest. Over here or something like that. Or perhaps just this. Shit. Bad day. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but I want to look at what's over here. It looks so enticing. Race ahead, mage ahead. Likely you don't have the right. Two. <clears throat> ah. Damn, this area is so cool. Oh, shit. Okay. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh, my God. I finally get to 100. 100 FP! Finally, dude. Oh, God. Did I get any new crazy physics? The stage of history. Charged attacks, boost fire attacks. Boosts faith. Stamina recovery. Restores HP. Nah, I don't have anything too crazy at the moment. Wherever the hell this was. Put a mark right here.
Yeah, how the hell can that... Well, here's the thing. The stone sword that we got that required 50 strength was actually for much later. Uh, we beat that boss relatively early. R relatively. The, uh... That, in that entire zone is meant for... Somewhat not close to where we were playing at. We just found a strategy that worked and fucking it worked. Damn, that's a big one. Well, that's the crazy guy. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I'm just roaming around right now. Oh god, I see a balloon. Oh god. What? Oh my god! She look at me. Look at me. Holy sweet Jesus, dude. Boromir, no! Where's my stuff? Get my damn stuff back. Uh-oh, got distracted. Grave robbing. Oh, joy. Got distracted. Hey, oh, there's another side of grace over here. That's always good. I hear music. At least I thought I did. <gasps> oh shit, mystery church. Wait, can't take this? What? The puzzle too difficult? Seek three wise beasts. What? No, stop it. No, no, go away. That's not what I want. Oh shit. Dude. I'm looking for three wise beasts, man. <gasps> Turtle! That's one. Okay. Weather is dramatically changing around us. Dang. 
Cool. Here. Shit. We have to kill the turtles. Go blame Miyazaki. Go send him an angry email. Well, shit. Gotta look for messages, right? You guys are aggressive. First off, ahead, and then down. Well, fuck. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay. Well, you got... You fell off. You're getting choked out by something, and then you died. Damn. Up? Uh oh! The <laughs> crack. Oh no. Okay. Is going up too. Treasure. Very difficult puzzle. How to get up there very slowly. Memory stone? Hell yeah. Those are always helpful. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's get back to where we need to be. Let's enter Rhea Lucaria and see what the hell's going on. Neat. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh my god, hella loading. Silent Gamer, thank you, and Clumbums, appreciate it. Cyberstrike, thanks for the 10 gift subs. What? Oh. Magical Gate. Come on, I can do something about that. Gonna deny me my level. So we got mind up all the way. Um, I say we either, let's crank strength to 25. Go from there. Might wanna work on dex as well because dex is just so friggin' valuable apparently. This isn't where I came in from, is it? Does this lead to a whole new area? Shit, it does. You please, you have seen. Oh, what a pity it is. 
to be without the right. All you can do is stand at a loss without even the half crescents that wish to be whole before the unmoving, unfeeling grand lift ahead. Ah. Or are you planning to throw yourself to the waters to find the Howard's passage through the dim cavern. Yes. More sides of grace. brought us all the way over here. Okay. I get you. I guess I could also just teleport, right? I think I could also just teleport. Well, okay. Wow. Visions of sorcery. Cue Harry Potter music. What? What was in there? Crystals. Damn, Hogwarts looking great. Good luck. You're a lizard, Larry. Nothing's tried to kill me yet. That's good. It'll be a non-hostile zone. Uh oh, I'm already finding secrets. Uh oh, I'm already finding hella secrets. What? Behold grass. <laughs> uh, thanks game. Thank you players. Cool. Uh oh. Guys, guys, stop it. Guys. 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 Ow. Ow. Fuck. Oh. Bitch. Interesting start. Do I go in there donning their clothing? Yeesh. Well, it's it, it's negation is against all types of uh, magical horse shit. But so is the astrologer robe. And it's just better.
Looking a bit homeless. Nice. Nice house. Cue Harry Potter music, please. Hold on. Uh oh. Yes! Yes! Ah! <laughs> General Kenobi. <laughs> huh? Waiting to get back up there. On that day, Harry Potter died on his way to Hogwarts. It's a Trances, thank you. Nylad, Dragon Ninja, appreciate it, guys. Give me some dang magic resistance. None of my shields have magic resistance! Damn, the bleed out. Oh, hi. Holy fuck! How many runes did I even have? I didn't have much. I just leveled up. I didn't have that much. God damn it. Figured there's no way I would die again. I thought it would be impossible. So I did not need to... touch the elevator, right? No need to touch the elevator if you're confident that you're not going to die again. Base Moose, thank you. Right? It's like an energy thing. You're putting out that energy in the world that you're going to go in there and get messed up. And you can't have that. Like in Souls games, you have to have, you know, confidence. You have to know you're going to go into a new crazy place and you're going to be able to come out triumphant. Oh my god. Mm. 
No, 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 no. No! Well, these guys are just the worst. Can you stop it? Ow. Damn. Dead ass bitch. What's it feel like to be a dead ass bitch? Okay. This place is great. Uh oh, I see, uh, sweet shortcut porn. Ooh. You know, this place is intelligence-based. I'm not- I'm not confident that the items I'm going to be getting. I'm faith-based, so it's very little intelligence involved. Joria, thanks for the tier one. Base Moose, thank you again. Look at this creeper. What you doing, man? Huh? You see me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna try to communicate with these other... These other players somehow. Okay, give me some sweet deets. Be wary of right. Roger. Ha. Ah. That you stupid skeleton. Not cool. Nice arm. Dang. Couple hits of bleed and it kicks in. The bleed is good. One. Two. Dang, that's awesome. Where you have left? Why? Damn, swinging away. I don't like this thing here anymore. Oh god. Well, that seems to be consistently working against these guys. Give me this like, dang item. Grace Mimic? Oh, you can put like a fake grace point down and then ambush a bitch? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Whacking away. Yeah, B. Intelligence, 28. Yeah. Hmm? Holy shit. <laughs> Guys, really? Really? This is necessary. I hope not. The skeletons are pissed. Mary of Ambush? Where? I got a sonic bubble on, I'm fine. Oh god. Arrows. Hey man, quit it! 
Ow. Ow. Stop it. Jesus. Like a fucking porcupine. Uh-oh. Top secrets? Carrion Knight Armor. Oh shit. Oh shit! This don't kill me. Batter, batter up. Um... I feel like that all is going to fit me very well right now, right? All this carrion gear? Uh, it's better stat-wise than some of the other stuff. Let's see how much the drip lets it rip. This is probably about how everybody looks when they're coming through here. Uh, is there not any carrion boots? They are. Well, looking significantly better than before. That's for sure. I imagine everybody finds this thing. I'm not heavy loaded. Not at all. Still medium loaded. Yeah, these guys keep popping up. Fancy. What? Here. What about down here? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Well, this place is already, uh, massive. Already. Where of dog? What? No dog. There was once a dog here. It's gone now. Uh, guys. Holy shit. Stop doing that to me. What? Dog's still alive? What the fuck? Oh my god! The dog replicator some shit? Turned into three dogs? Cool. Neat. Bella Skula Jikai, thank you. Yeah. Alright, now we do the really, really, really fast way. They said beware of dog, not dogs. Shit. I'm going to defend my honor in here, you funkin' pooch. No more dogs. Try jumping. Oh. Oh. I was already down there. I already did that. Already was down there. But over here. No.
<laughs> Everyone's wearing the carrion armor in here. Try guard counter. All right. Oh, this crazy looking bitch. Oh. Ow. No, 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 no. Holy shit. It went poorly on first attempt. I didn't want to listen. I want to try to get my big uh, stabby sword thing. <sighs> wow. Okay. Okay. Now we do the really, 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 really fast running to it. Really, really fast. I love it that there's no stamina consumption when not in encounters anymore. Oh, it's so lovely. Being able to cook it and book it through everything. My stamina! Ow! My foot! Right in the back of my foot! <laughs> Ow! It really hurts. This fucking dog. I think a dog fell off. I actually think it did. Okay. Wonderful idea on the guard counter. Ward! Does this bitch just never stop? Thank God. Shit. No, you big asshole! Of course, the final hit got delayed, right? The absolute final hit. We're running into one of these guys on a beach at the very beginning of the game. Don't follow me anymore.
Fuck. Come on, big guy, please. You're giving me enough of a headache. Gravity well, okay. A dead end? What? This felt like the way to go. What? Huh. Weird. We're going back. Missed something somewhere. Oh no. Oh no. It begins. Oh shit, oh god, oh god, shit! Okay. Damn. Darts, okay. Very valuable. I'll take. Shit. Still didn't work out so good. Damn, that's a big sword. Fuck. Ambush? Huh. Conspectus scroll. That's my first one. It's my first one. Reward wasn't crazy, but... Oh god. Okay. What the heck's the Conspectus Scroll? Is it a key? Give to a learned sorcerer for new sorceries. Dope. Dupe. Okay. They do exist. Yeah, it's the first time one of those messages wasn't complete bullshit. This place is awesome. These guys just learning shit. Having a good time. Until I came around. Ow. Pot bro? Not friendly. Not friendly. Very unfriendly, actually. Damn, I've got these guys all are deaf. Not pot, bro. Definitely not pot, bro. Oh, 
Oh my god damn. Holy fucking god damn. I just heard eight magic shits go off. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, god damn. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, uh, time to uh, tactically retreat. You magic shitters. That's it. One down. Two down. All right. Ugh. Stop it. Neat. Probably collect those for a quest or some shit. Splash. Boss door. Shit. Oh god. Oh god. See me through the wall, huh? Damn! Two for one special? Okay. Hey buddy, all your friends are dead. Come here. Nice shield. You're the combat lord, huh? Check this out. Ugh. Give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. I gotta get a, a, a refill. Ah! What happened? Who lost? Who lost money on whatever bet the mods put on? Huh? Who lost the most money? Something amazing. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is like a, a refuge from all these shitheads. Invisible wall. Oh, invisible wall. Ugh. Damn it! That guy had the same idea. Nice shield, man. The fuck is that? Is that a giant mushroom? The hell? Chad, if you scream invisible wall in real life when you hit an invisible wall or a not invisible wall, your chances increase by 1% each time. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is badass. Ow, that's not cool. Holy shit. Neat. Neat.
I'm doing damage, though. Ow, man, stop it! Uh, I don't know which way is the right way. This guy's very angry. Definitely the right is the right way. Wait, what? I got turned around. Whatever, I'll be fine. Don't shoot me! Please don't. So much magical horse shit. Good throw. High quality whiffs. It's a magic dog. Oh fuck, I'm screwed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Big puppy angry. Big puppy very angry. I gotta start getting in there and whacking away. Mm. Start whacking away. Let's get this boss out of the way. Excuse me? Yeah, I definitely don't want to cast, uh... Any black fire magic. Not good. I want to approach this relatively straightforward like I did at the start. Block. Smack. Oh my god, damn. My god. What the fuck? Let me just hit you. Here's some dudes. Oh shit. There's a lot of damage. A substantial amount of damage actually. That does a substantial amount of damage too. No! God damn! Okay. All right. I hit. I hit him for an absolute shit ton with the blood blade. Uh, like an absolute metric shit ton. It did so much damage. But he's got a lot of really weird dodge attacks. So it's this is a what's it called? Um, like a berserk style fight. He's got a ton of damage, but he's a glass cannon. Hit him with four of these big blood blade things, and he's probably dead. Ow! Almost dead. Oh my god, almost dead again.
Holy shit. Oh god, oh god. Bad, 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 bad. Puppy, no bitey. There we go. Oh, I got the blood loss in the end, too. Alright, just had to fight him a couple of times. Uh, insanely weak to your left. He's got the... Blood Starved Beast weakness. How oh, funny. Yeah. Insanely weak to your left. More memory slots. In fact, let's actually attune some shit to that. What else can we get up here? Black Flame, Urgent Heal. Black Flame Blade was unfortunately not spectacular. Um, Glintstone Pebble could be good. Just to shoot at shit. Increases fire damage negation. Uh, cane. Welcome back to the stage of history. Why does Dragonfire take 12 arcane? That's unfortunate. I use that. Alleviates buildup and cures poison and scarlet rot. Damn. Costs 14 FP though. I don't have any really good defensive spells yet, no. Nice room. Are these all the Hog Hogwarts? Lord of Lords of Hogwarts? I don't know what the hell they're called. The teachers? <laughs> the Hog Lords? Rasta, thank you for the prime. Hold on. Wow. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh. One time players are actually helpful. To the stage of history. So cool. The funny thing about Souls games chat, since the very first one, since Demon Souls. They were designed in a way that we're going to make our game so insanely fucking hard, so ridiculously hard, that the only way that you're going to be able to beat them is with players. The online component of Souls games was a, was a substantial game design philosophy from the very beginning. Is that they were kind of designed the fact that people were meant to help out other people in some way by leaving messages and notes and having it be odd and weird and having the players in game help out everybody else. So weirdly enough for all these games to be like sort of considered, you know, single player only games from the very beginning, you know, they they kind of have not been that. They want people to figure this out and then leave messages for other people. Try finger, butthole. You'd prefer regular co-op throughout the whole game? Yeah. Ragadon icon. I mean, it's funny, why don't you just add co-op, like normal co-op, but... Soul still does not have normal co-op, you know? Ragadon icon? Hell is it? Huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's really good. Damn, I switched to a heavy load. Um, that's really good. Holy shit. Do I know that you can use rune arcs as embers? Yes, I know that. 
Um, we figured that out in like the second day of playing. But I don't know if you saw. I have one. If you die, it's gone. And they're fucking expensive early game. Nice sword, dickhead. I realized I didn't level up after I killed the dog. Might have been very stupid. Tiny pots. Stop it. You assholes about to aggro me? Are we being serious here? Come on. Crabs. Hey, always good. That looks cool. That, that item best be amazing. to fall off a cliff. Survive! Damn, I survived. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, you're not dead yet? Why aren't you dead yet? No items, nothing? Man, come on. Stop. Trying to kill me. You too. Ow, oh, Christ. Oh, you fucking bitch. Get back here. Am I killing these guys? How am I killing these crabs? Give me like 40. A pop. Really not worth- Oh shit! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh god. Tiny crabs. Retreat! Item. Retreat. Now. Give him a bit of charge of the old black flame. Hua. And run away. Oh lord, it's coming. You will never get me. Oh shit. Oh. This is an unexpected place to fight. 
No! Okay. Oh god. Excuse me? Excuse me. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. I'll take it. That meat. God. If there's little crabs, there will be a big crab. There's there's usually a rule. Crabs. I'm curious what's back here. I hear a bunch of weird shit going on on the right. Fucking crabs, men. It's worth it. It's worth the life loss. Makes that fight go by significantly faster. Something. <gasps> glowy tree, glowy tree, almost killed myself. Glowy tree, glowy tree, almost died. Hell yeah, I think that's actually the seed that I needed for my upgrade. Carlos Glenstone Crown. Dope. We gotta wear it for a little while, right? Shockingly is way more physical defense than I thought. Thought it would be more magic, but it's not. Yeah, I'm the Burger King, suddenly. Dang. Guys, guys, chill. I'm like you. I'm like you. I swear. Stop digging! Oh! up nothing else in here really god exit closing fast
I seeketh progression. Oh. I get progression. Fucking goddamn. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Bunch of assholes, I get it. You're next, buddy. Open this damn door. Be on our merry way. <gasps> More secrets. First off, hope. Oh. Whoa. Oh boy. Uh. Let's get away from the arrow guy. That sucked. Two flasks left, arrow in my shoulder, don't worry about it. Oh. Careful. I'll trust that message. Cheeky little bitch. Ow. He's dead now. No. Uh -oh. It fell even though it could fly. It killed itself. It was so humiliated. Cool. Ah, stop it, man. Okay. I have arrows. Unintentional. What? Okay. Don't worry about it. Nice back step. R1, R1, R1. Okay. We've survived the bridge. I see blood stains. How about you? I didn't see what you died from, man. You're in such a hurry. Okay, everyone goes over here and dies. 
Oh. Oh. Jumping required my ass. No, man. No, I don't think... I... I don't think so. I do not think so. Look at you guys all try, though. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. I disagree. I'm gonna go this way. You can make that jump. I've done it. Yeah, I'm sure I can. I believe you. That jump is possible? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Holy shit, hold on a second. Oh my god. Crimson Flames. Dude, holy shit. Thanks for the hundred bucks, man. Just then lost my job, but ended up f finding something much better. In the three weeks of unemployment, your content really kept me going. Damn, Crimson Flame. Congratulations, dude. Sweet Jesus, that's a that's a big win. That's usually how it works, right? Funny enough, that's usually there's an arrow in my chest. There's, that's usually how it works, at least in my experience. Thanks, man, and huge congrats. Okay, I thought this was leading to progression, but I got a golden rune out of it, and that's great, but not substantial enough. Ah. Please? Okay. That's a very long ladder. Right? Like, that's an obnoxiously long ladder. Thought I held out. Whoa, special sword key? A lot of these jumps are making me very nervous considering how much stuff I got on me right now. Dude. I'm thinking that has to lead to like a... Uh... Oh, I almost didn't jump. That has to lead to a bonfire of some kind. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Damn, the expertly crafted ladder slide animation here since like Demon Souls. Oh, that is a precious crab, okay. Out of the way, boys. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting barely anything. Like, what? Is this even at all? No checkpoint, nothing. Look, his long ass ladder climb. Although you're trying to subvert my expectations or some shit. That has to be it, right? Question is, will I survive? Oh, I'll definitely survive this. Amazing. An even bigger hat? Nice! Dang. This is great. Two Burger Kings? So that guy's wearing his hat? What are you fighting? 
Something dramatic? Uh oh. How did you die? Oh shit. Well, there goes the last flask. Ma Damn, there's a lot of these guys. <gasps> uh oh, this is the op right? This is the opening. <gasps> where's the where's the ladder shortcut? <gasps> Fuck yeah, let's go. Being perceptive in these games is, uh, very rewarding. Very rewarding. Shattering crystals, huh? Must be a spell. Alright, that's the... That's progression right there. Let's, uh... Welcome back to the stage of history. Let's see if I can just survive this fall. Nice. Not nice. Not nice. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? I went the wrong goddamn way. Oh my god. Fucking shit. Okay. Oh, oh. Not looking good, boys. Teleport back to the start. Run out there and get my shit. $30,000. Like, like, the, the equivalent of... All of One-Eyed Willie's pirate treasure... Is sitting down there at the beginning. $30,000. Oh, shit, that's not it. This must be it. Ah, oh, shit, that's not it either. Maybe this is it. Yeah. Yeah. It is the main gate. Oh, fuck. I thought we had one that was closer. Shit. What? What? Targeting a, an enemy up there. That was weird. Which one fires this one? Whatever. Let's go up here. where my echoes are at anyway. Wee. This one! Who? 
That's the one I was looking for. Church of the Cuckoo? Uh, strength to 25. Yeah. Let me start focusing them back on faith. Or dex? Ah, oh, shit, I don't even know. Oh, I did not need 6k, but I'll take it. Okay. Can I start equipping some crazy stuff yet? Right? Islander Axe. The Great Axe, that's 30. Um... I need a 20, uh, solid ass 24 faith for this. Winged Scythe. Seems kind of cool. I've not found a better bow yet. Funny enough. Oops, I need to do that. Let's get everything to 50. the entrance? It was. Oh, I was thinking I came in from a different direction. Oh, funny. So where the hell were we just at? The bait parlor? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, I can level up my flasks. I forgot. Oh, thank God. Wait a minute. If we go back to the one we were just at... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, no, this is not where I want to be yet. We need to use the ladder. Yeah. Damn, I keep forgetting that we fucking don't need to go to grace sites in order to teleport. We don't. We need to try to gank this ladder as soon as possible. Shit. Wait. Did I see this before? I did. Okay, no need to go back. No need to go back. Climb it, you dumb bitch! Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Press X. Uh, Bloodborne muscle memory. Friction! Monkey shaman! Meep moop moop. Thank you. Meep boop boop. I'm gonna go right up. I'm gonna go right up. Watch, 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 watch. Quickly. Quickly! Quickly! Holy shit! Oh! That's it. That's it. I'm gonna fucking get my revenge now. Stop it! Might just be easier to kill him. Maybe. I swear to God, these enemies are in Devil May Cry 2. I swear to God. Like, they are identical. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, this is the, uh... One way. For the other way.
You stay over there. Oh shit. Good heal. Good bait. Fantastic bait, I'd say. Fantastic bait. That's the best whiff punish possibly of all time. I just need to back this dude into a corner and then go ham. guys. Alright. A lot of damn enemies in the way here. Between our objective. This guy. There's that guy. There's these guy. There's these two guys. Oh, shit! Hey, come here. Do me a favor. Ugh. Solid whips. Oh, wow. Damn, that bleed is unfortunate, isn't it? Very unfortunate. Azure's Glintstone, Azure's Glintstone staff. Int 50 fucking two. Whoa. Max Star, thank you. Burger Land. This was all side stuff. Yeah, I have to go, uh, I have to, to get back up there. I got to go back to Cuckoo Church. Wait, Cuckoo Church is the wrong one. Hey. Uh, yeah. Oh. Date parlor. So I think I gotta go this way. Back out to the main, uh... This big-ass, like, open area. Right? There's nothing up there, except the unlock for this door. Then from this door... I am... 98% confident? It's up here? Entirely though? Yeah. Really, man? Make me not have no fun? for the glintstone up the ladder I think this is the right way I don't know
Oh, that's right. All these assholes in the way. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't touch me. Okay. Oh, don't touch. Don't follow. Holy shit. Wanna join your friends, dude? Nowhere to, nowhere to back turn now, huh? Man, you guys followed me way too far. Okay. All right. Beep. And, uh... Beep. Sheesh. Obnoxious. You're obnoxious. Also a terrible shot. And the lean. There's that jump. And instead of going down over here, you go over there. Holy shit. Okay. Hey, can you stop it? Crazy asshole. Made me look. Oh. Oh. Cool. Oh man, these things go way up here. Birds. Fuck, that really hurt, man. Fascinating animation. Are they like robotic? Damn, those guys win PvP matches all day long. They found that move and they just win PvP matches. Did you really think you could make that? Oh no, you got picked off by something. Somewhere. Oh, I wish. Well, huh. No progress over here. Big ladder still super su suspect to me. I can make this jump. <gasps> NOT THAT ONE! Welcome back to the stage of history.
Be wary of down. This is a really long run, dude. Like, this is a big ass run. I grab that. Only a couple arrows in me, don't worry about it. Did you see what he just did? He lifted his right arm and stabbed me with the left. Fucking game. What an asshole. I left with an arrow in my armpit. Oh shit. Yoink. Uh, yoink. Yoink, yoink, and uh, yoink. All right, how's it going? Fuck, I always go the wrong way here. Oh my God. Ow. Shit. Wait, there was one more thing I wanted to check up here. Hold on a second. I thought I saw something. Also, my damn souls. My damn souls. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Wait, what? Another one? Wait, what for what? Huh? I don't even know if I've... Huh? I don't know if I come across a door that could use that yet. Well... Sadly... I don't think I can get down. Oh, yeah, for that one dude that wanted to get back into the academy. For that one dude. Yeah. Yeah, one dude. But fuck! Crap, man. I have so 
much space to cover now. I have a couple of NPCs I gotta give stuff to. I gotta give the thing to the Beast Man. Uh, I gotta give, uh... Can I really? Like, really? Been in front of my face the whole time? Really? Some anal rodeo shit. Oh my god. I really could. What? What? <gasps> no! No! Not again! Ugh. Nothing's ever simple in these games. Nothing's ever simple. Oh, come on. Where's the goddamn bonfire? No! Oh. oh, you look like a hangry man. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just trying to fucking find a bonfire, bro. Are you throwing shit at me? Christ. Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah, I can do that too. Oh, that was a very successful jump. Congratulations. Now. That sucks to be you. Nice drink. Successful drink. Damn. Wow. The lingering hitbox. Nice successful drink. Oh. Oh. No. You dickhead. You magical shitter. You dirty magical shitter. Eating some cake. Yeah, he was an offline stream sniper. One hundred percent. Without a doubt. When is the last time I had Popeyes? When did that chicken sandwich come out? Oh. Two years ago? Two years. My stuff. All right, dickhead. I'm back. My nice swings. Enjoy the bleed, ass face. Holy shit. Seems uncalled for.
<laughs> hey, dickhead. Drank right in front of me. Looking real thirsty, aren't you? Take that, you stupid dickhead. Give me your stuff. Ooh. Ooh. 100% physical and magic negation? I'll take it. Going full on carrion set. <gasps> now what? Oh god. Evelator. It's over here though. Where are you left? Oh hi. Valuable information. Don't know if this is the progress path. It might be. Yeah, it might be. We're on the PC version. We gotta check what this is. This dude was guarding it. Must be something sick. Suddenly, I think this is actually progress. I'll go back down. I'm gonna try to find the shortcut. It's somewhere around here. E. The shortcut. Oh, the hell a shortcut. Oh, man. Beautiful. Now, let's see what's up here. Got to investigate it all. Grasba, thank you for the prime. Thousand bits from Original Mind. Appreciate it, dude. It's Gassy, Raisin Bran, Dante's Dominion, Hammer of Light. Uh, Steve, any, Steven NYC? Jeez. Oh, Duhuan, Tarnished, Blizzard, and Fire Lord Sombra, and Maxstar. Appreciate it, guys. All right. I'm opening this door now. Uh-oh. God damn. Uh-oh. First, like, cutscene in a hell of a long time. Like, holy shit, an actual cutscene? Looking good. Oh shit.
This is some crazy shit. Books and shit flying everywhere! How many souls do you give each? None! Oh, man. No point. Breathing fire. Go after the golden horse shits. Don't need to kill them. Where are the golden horse shits? Damn, the music here, though. Wow. What the hell? Uh... Oh, oh, okay, there's a golden horse shit. Oh, there's a book. Stop it! Oh, uh, looking for golden horse shit. Found it. Damage time. Oh, Jesus. It's got to be only phase one or something like that. Bayonetta, hello. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Cool. Holy shit. Holy shit. How cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, she got that? Please come down. Shit. All right. Well, that did a lot of damage. That did a uh, quite a bit of damage. Healthy amount of damage, they say. <gasps> no, what? I got it. No way. No. No statue at all? Okay, well, it's a little bit better because I can go up here. Damn, old school style, right? No statue of Marika? Nothing. Ow, fucking shit. Ow. Stop it.
Oh, what the holy... Yo, Psycho Michael, thanks for the prime. We're back. Let's see if since I know where these uh these other ones are, I can make this go by a bit quicker. My echoes. My souls. There they are. She's singing. Phase one is like an omega pu push over. I could have swore it was on the side. Is that in the middle? You got some huge feet, chat. Damn. Okay. God. Come you funky monkey. What? You actually need me to kill this thing? Oh my god! I wonder if she... It was weird, it was auto-targeting the... Oh no! She called in a summon. She called in a summons. Okay. So I was like, yo, what? The summons became targetable. How oh, funny. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I got the hang of it. The biggest challenge now is to not get hit by these guys on the way up here. Fuck. 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 Failed. Shh. 
Yeah, the magic is pretty pretty in this game. Not as good looking as Demon Souls, though. Demon Souls magic looked way better in the remake. I like the wispiness too, and uh, the wispiness of magic in, in Demon Souls. It was very neat. It was like an interesting take. Let's just try to do blood slash, blood slash, blood slash. I died. I died. It exploded and I died. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to acknowledge that I will be... Uh, probably not single-shotting that part. Fuck. Too much blood slash, yep. <laughs> Pretty much. No, this is only the second, potentially the second rune since Godric, yeah. Oh, I loved this zone. I thought it was awesome. If this is, if this is the last boss, I don't know if this is the last boss of this area. I don't know. Charge attack sucks. Whole last chandelier fell on my head. Was there a tell? Or did it just happen? Huh? Maybe there's a sign on the ground or something that the chandelier is going to fall on your head? Some fire will fall from the ceiling. All right. All right. Ow! Shit! Nice shot. Okay. Okay. Relatively simple boss fight has now taken us like four or something five attempts now. Sleep 
I see it, yeah. you up oh, throwing books at me Dippies. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Man. close what the fuck they have no stamina on this fight so I'm being chased by this piece of shit dogs dogs Dude, she refused. She absolutely refused. Like... Oh. That was... <laughs> somebody said... That was an impressive amount of shit thrown at you. Yes, it was. I agree. Why are you blocking the wall? All right.
I knew it. Oh God, I'm like, I mashed L2 and it kept it in my input. Oh God, man. I want to, I want to go in so hard and, and so fast. I want to kill. I want to kill. What, what needs to die? It needs to be killed and die. No patience. No waiting. Only kill and die. This dude's in a different place now. All right, this time for sure. Did I get unlucky? This might be truly random. Nice throw. Where's the last one? This always happens, man. Okay. If you take out, it looks like if you take out the, uh, the summon, she remains, uh, susceptible to damage a bit longer, right? A bit longer. Frustration's kicking in because I gotta run all this way to the damn fight! Yeah, the Bloodhound Knight Summon is like, whoa. Gotta deal with this crazy curved sword asshole.
<laughs> yeah, she summons a fucking crucible knight on your ass. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Play tight. Holy shit. Got lucky. This is gonna be hell for, uh... This is gonna be hell. For people that have speedrun this game. This is gonna be the random girls, right? They, they could just pop up on any of them. Can be, that's, gonna, that's gonna be RNG hell. do so much damage. Oh, great. Damn it! As soon as I looked away from the stupid curved dickhead, this moment I'm just like, okay, retarget her, and there's a projectile in my face. Yeah, for some reason you can't target her when she summons. You can't. So the camera will always focus on the summon. God. Check my helmet's description. One of the glenstone crowns was found upon Rhea Lucaria scholars who pursuits were deemed worthy. Greatly increases intelligence to the determined HP... To the detriment of HP and stamina? Detriment of stamina? Stamina detriments? What the fuck? What the fuck? What have I been? We were nerfed the whole time. We were nerfed for the sake of hilarity? Nerfed hilarity? Oh, they all oh, I lie. Oh, this bitch gonna get it now. Sleep. 
You all gonna get it now. I was memeing it up over here. Take this, Bigfoot. Oh, shit. Ow. I think whatever direction the books are coming at you at is where they are, right? Let's look at where books are being hurled at you from. You'll get a pretty good idea. There it is. Hi, giant. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what? They all hit me at the exact same time? Oh, dude, what the fuck? What the hell? What? Huh? Like, five projectiles hit me literally at once. Yeah, bleed is amazing. It's awesome when it kicks in. You gotta hit them a lot, but it's awesome. Fuck, man. Always some crazy, like, random thing that she can throw out that gets you whacked. Oh, oh, or that. <gasps> I don't have enough intelligence for my shield now. My shield is literally useless. Oh, sweet fuck. We were nerfed hard. My armor has crap magic defense? No. Carrion armor? No way. 4.6. Actually, you know, it probably should go with the that Astrologer's set we were messing around with earlier. Oh my god, my webbed feet. Can't handle. Simply just can't handle it. Welcome back to the stage of history. Yeah, the singing also 
3D audio and shit. All the bosses so far in this zone have been um, crazy high attack, low defense bosses, right? All glass cannon type stuff. No, this asshole. Oh my god. Again? Eat my ass! Got lucky. No dragon summon? Should have been dead four times over already. She should have been dead 17 times! Um, all right. I find it funny that this fight is, like, in the same area as, like, Rom as well, you know? And it's the same kind of, like, patience that you have to approach it with. It's like a Rom fight. In so many ways. Visually and in, in actual practice. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence he hides. There are books and light aplenty, dither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? Welcome back to the stage of history. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting? Reborn of my beloved egg. Rebirth. Does she respect you like once or something like that? Oh, she's the she's the one you bring the larval tear to the larva. Yeah, okay. You bring the larval tear to her and she'll respect you. Cool. That's actually pretty dope. I'm considering it. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Yeah, I th I think I have as a sweeting fair and fine. I think I have several larval tears as well.
I mean, they're under key items. There they are. I have, I have two. I got two larval tears. Yeah. What would I spec into? I'm only debating specking away from uh, strength a bit and going more into dex. But I haven't really come across a dex weapon that I, I mean, I love. I really haven't come across a weapon that I love yet. The blood flambarge is here just because, you know, we're enjoying ourselves. Um, I'd really have to think about it. If I wanted to spec into something completely different. Dex int is really fun. I was thinking maybe dex faith. You know? Uh, you saved it for a weapon you liked? Yeah. I mean, this is awesome. This is, this is essentially what Bloodborne was missing. I haven't found the Twin Blade, dude. I still do not have the Twin Blade. This is essentially what Bloodborne is missing. Bloodborne and Bloodborne really needs it, man. Like, really needs it. So, um... Yeah, there's a few things that I want to use. But... I don't know. Thinking strength and faith might not be as interesting as before. Dex and faith might be there. Right? Maybe. Either way. And yeah, we should probably go check on that. Wasn't there chests in here and stuff like that? Yeah, there was. Locked! Why is it always dark? What? Why is the chest locked? Huh? Why is it... I can't strike. Oh shit, I can't attack this enemy. Or I can't attack her anymore. Uh, let's rest and level. Welcome back to the stage of history. And we got, uh, strength to 25. Nice, nice even numbers across the board. I guess I could start cramming into faith again so we can use that faith, uh... What's it called? That, uh, faith... Scythe? Right? Maybe? Or maybe I should give myself some more damn life. The Flamberge is doing a pretty good job, right? The Flamberge is not doing a bad job. Faith Scythe is pretty neat, too. Yeah, the Wigged Scythe, yeah. Life is always good. Mind is always good, you know? These types of builds. I think the Flamberge is doing good enough. I also have to start considering, like, the level leveling up of the weapon itself. Which will take a while. So... I'm gonna bitch out. Give me 6k souls real fast. Perfect. Yeah, the ice axe is actually kind of neat. I'm somewhat debating dual wielding axes. I should probably try that. Give ourselves some health. Uh oh. I gotta go find the other great rune for this chick, and where do I. Where the hell do I put it? Uh, I don't know what the hell that guy was using. Hmm. Started on, um, Conquistador. I don't know. Confederate? What the heck was the name of the dude? Conglomerate? Consulate? Confessor. There we go. That was close enough. Um. Hmm. 
Wait. We go back out. There was a teleport thing. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I saw it. That might be a... A frequent... In these areas. Hang on a second. Can't remember where it was. I think it was down here. Oh, the hell have I been streaming for six hours and 43 minutes already, man? I don't get it. It was out here. Yeah, this will definitely lead us to where we got to go. Put the thing. What? What? Guess it goes here? No? Greetings. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not all things... Big sword. Int 24. Grant blessings to self and nearby allies. What kind of blessings are we talking about? Or grant blessing? Huh. Weird. So there's an area we gotta go to get the great rune. But where that area is, I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming it's here. Now that that isn't it. Used to perfect rebirth. Perfect rebirth. Amber egg clutched by Renala, queen of the full moon. Great rune of unborn demigods. Per per perfects those who have been born anew. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived. Imperfect beings each and all. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I could try going out this way. Or... We're just going? Red summon sign, huh? Have I been here? Did I collect this? I didn't. Oh god. Well, that's fantastic. Glad I did that. The rune is already active. The tower is for something else entirely. Oh. Okay, I thought that was kind of like a a process that we had to do. If it's already active and we're good to go, then... I guess we're good to go.
No, I tried to equip it. Yeah, I did. I think I think the thing is I'm able to I'm able to birth a new, right? I'm able to be reborn. I just have to use those items to do it. So it's like it's active. You know, it's there. Holy shit! What's happened? Oh my god. Hey man, I don't have my shits. What's happened? What? No longer safe? Clinging bone? How many more knives am I gonna get? Int knife. Interesting. Everything's just back to normal? We're just cool? With it all? May the golden order shine. Ah. Okay. All right. Always good to see so. All right. That was weird. Everyone cool? Greetings. Are you here for spirit? So can't even afford the mad pumpkin head. Godric Soldiers, uh, Teal the Headless, 104, 100 for Banished Knight Oleg. Level him up, he'd probably be a big fucking problem. Well, I took you for no matter to lay out your own. Oh, I have enough smithing stones for this. Interesting. Uh, blood loss is going up a little bit more. Yo, kevgaming.com. Thanks for the gift subs, dude. Six smithing stone breeze. Uh, 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 I'm okay. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oleg is pretty good. Kind of want to level him up. I have like all the items for it and shit. I just need like money. It's probably give me a lot. Yeah. Level up Oleg and see how crazy he is. Godric guys can go up even more, but... Oleg is exactly 100 FP, which is what I have. And I need more money. And we just killed whoever invaded the academy.
Ghost Love Work 4 is what I need. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll level up the Godric guys right now, too, because it's got Grave Glove Work 5. I can afford it. Uh... Maybe not right now. It's required 15 int. <gasps> I only had 10. Shit, I only had 10. Well, we beat a boss, right? Let's celebrate. A and that significantly increases your fucking stats, man. Holy shit. Everything just went sky high. I wanna fly high sky high. And he oh my god, I can equip it too. What the shit? Neat. Uh... <sighs> Neat. Yeah, I gotta switch back to my carrion armor. Oh, hey, it's Jay. Thanks for the 14 months. Another scythes type weapon. Want to poke something, damn it. You look impressive. Nice horse, asshole. Damn, look how... Noble this guy is. Wow, this is nuts. These aren't even leveled up, dude. Ow. I got fucked up. Look at these bloodstains. People died to that dude. He just swung away. God, look how cool this area looks, man. Another guy on horseback that you gotta go mess up. <laughs> I love this game. Says somebody in the chat, I love this. 
Surprise, asshole! Oh, wow, that was one hell of a jump. Dude, you got all this crazy shit. Start dropping it. Start dropping all your crazy shit, man. I see it. I see your horse. I see you. Come on. Getting serious. Fuck. No items, man. Yeah, the stun lock is a uh, crazy. Need more dudes on horseback. Hey, man. These aren't even leveled up, and I feel like a god. Actually on like the main road and stuff. Oh shit. Oh my good god. Oh god my good god. Oh god my god. Doing my best. Doing my best. Oleg. Help a brother out. Okay, do I not have enough FP? I don't have enough FP. Oh my god. Oleg. Oh shit! Oleg, I'm really gonna need your help. Oh, fuck. All right, they all have to die. They all have to die. All of them, they all have to die. I just wanted to bring out Oleg and see what he could do. Oh. The fun is done. God. Damn it, man. The problem is I don't consider that aspect of it. That like, oh no, it's about to all go away. I keep forgetting that. I can still summon Oleg though, yeah. Damn, that sucks for your horse.
guys want to drop anything? The answer is no. The answer is no, they don't want to drop anything. Ooh, you a big bitch now. A horse dropped something. What the hell? A beast liver? fell on me. Give me my damn stuff back. I'm gonna sneak right up your ass. It's good, don't it? Fire with dudes with fire sticks being one of the most potent enemies in the game. The stage of history. Tired of it. Fuck off that horse. Bye, horse. Can I ride you? You're a big horse. Whatever these guys have, if they have anything, they're probably extremely rare drops. Somebody said there was a grace ahead around here. Was it a lie? Was it a dirty lie? <gasps> no, it's not. Oh, give me, give me, give me. All right. No, yes. Beautiful. What are we at? Plus four or five now? Plus five. Hell yeah. Very good. A uh, merchant. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Oh my god, you have three rune arcs on you, dude.
Use FP to charm pierced enemy? What? Boosts focus. Boosts robustness. Boosts immunity. Huh? Cookbook 13. Uh, alright. I think this is the better time than any. Let's pop this fat ass rune. Bam! 7,500. You again? I don't want it. Uh, I need I need 500 FP or runes. Want to buy both of those, man? I don't want to live in a non arclet horse shit. You again? I don't want. It. Beautiful. Done? Well, be on your way then. Okay. I haven't really looked at item crafting and what I can actually craft, but it's gonna get better and better and better. Boosts immunity, boosts robustness, I can actually make those now. Golden Rowa, easily found near bird trees. No! Oh, I found the thing to finally, finally finally make the attack boost items. Hallelujah, dude. Okay, so I can make attack boost items. That's amazing. Boosts item discovery. Hunting birds? I have not been hunting birds. I definitely am not. Fire grease and shit? Okay. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Magic arrows. Big fat ass arrows. Cool! Very cool. No. Meat myth kebabs. Very true. Who we got in this over here that I can sneak up and stab in the back? Actually, I wanted to see this really fast. I was genuinely curious. Oh god! What? Ow! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! So it's like literally the worst enemy to do this on, right? Nice delay. Kiss my ass. Nice throw, you piece of shit. Damn miners. Wanted to have some fun. Game's like, no. I found it loud.
Is that really a site of grace down there? Oh shit, it is, and I haven't even used it yet. Uh-oh, big boy. Skull. Why does this place look so crazy? Don't mind me. What's that all about? your gear come on what that's a fucking huge egg for nothing? 300 for just like whacking a big egg? Alright. Jesus, where am I? Being aggroed by everything, so I don't know. I'll just stay poisoned. I'm gonna beat that shit out of all you guys. Can't poison me if I'm already poisoned, huh, asshole? Ow, it hurts. Ow, fuck. It, you actually can, apparently. Apparently you can keep poisoning me. Oh, good. Double, triple poison? So where are we? Oh, Jesus Christ. What the, what the holy hell? Oh, good stuff. Don't be a trap, don't be a trap, don't be a trap. Look at all these guys. No grace ahead, I don't believe it. No! You liar! Right there. Damn liars. Pepper Thomas, thank you, and Hobo Robo. Appreciate it, guys. Four golden sea- Four golden seas. Five golden rings. Three sacred tears. Two rune arcs. Uh. One memory stone. And a rebirth that costs a larva. Five golden rings. What the? What are you doing up here? Uh-oh. I still want to investigate down there, though. That all looks very interesting. Right? It's 
five Elden Rings. Why? What's happening? What's happening? Bats! Fucking bats everywhere! Holy shit! Ow! I'm being packed! What a giant be wary of ambush. Yo, thanks. Well, I picked up an Ash of War for something, Jack. Can anyone uh, recollect what it was as I was being hounded by bats? It looked like a huge dog was biting me for a second. Maybe I should turn off the auto lock on. Barbaric roar? Okay. Damn, it was the first option in settings. Maybe they're used to people not wanting that shit on. Doesn't look like I'm missing out on much down here. There's a little bit of a frame drop there. We dropped to like 48 FPS. No, That's about the extent of what I usually see. But I did see a crazy stutter in the cutscene of the Moon Lady fight, right? There was a, uh, there was a real big stutter in that one. All cutscenes are messy, sadly. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Level up items. Trap. Uh oh. Why oh, is he so tiny? God damn it. Dude, why is the final hit so hard to land? Pieces of shit. Go to hell. Yes. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm getting into an adventure by going down here. Oh. Uh. Up here. Way up here. There's a patch out for PC that fixes the stutter and FPS drops. Oh, really? Did it, like, just come out? Pitch through some rocks, I mean, it actually kind of hurt. Whoa, it's got some crazy meat cleavers. I don't fucking believe it. It's gonna be nothing, right? Oh, it was actually something halfway. Ah, oh, shit. I have to make more of this stuff. That's what I was hearing all damn time. Hear this glowy thing. Wow. Cool. Whoa. Ho ho. Whoa ho ho. Whoa! Oh boy. Even better. A second here. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Necessary item ahead. Oh, sweet baby. Oh, yes. Give me those glorious rune arcs. Okay, I think I've pillaged the hell out of this place. One golden rune arc. Oh, good God, Chad. I have to stop playing. Oh my God, man. I have to. It has to be over. It just cannot, it cannot continue. It just cannot keep continuing. <laughs>